Brendan got the fucking bag. He has the fucking luck of the Irish on his side. This is another example as to sometimes in life, I don't know about you guys if it's different, but I've always been the person, I've always, as Brendan will say, always been the kind of person that always gets things the hard way. Things never come to me the easy way. I rarely, if ever, I'm walking down the street and I kick someone's wallet and a hundred dollars falls out of it. I rarely, if ever, win competitions. I rarely, if ever, get even, you know, sometimes at work, I never even get fucking employee of the of the month awards or shit. I never get recognized for my achievements at the end of year awards at work. Nothing. Zero. Zero. Everything I get is for just pure immigrant mentality pure niggity niggity cotton picking getting my back fucking whipped out in the fields fucking mentality that's all that's the only way i get anything in life but then there's the opposite of people like this guy who gets given everything on a silver platter fucks it up and then gets somebody to pick up the silver platter and put more good shit on there because imagine brendan being in a position where anyone owes him 1.6 million dollars that's fucking sick. <laughs> so Brendan, I think he owes whoever his agent is, whomever Brendan's agent is at CAA or whoever he's signed to, that person deserves a raise. That person deserves a dick suck. That person deserves their pussy eight. That person deserves everything in the world because they negotiated somehow a contract with Cast Media back in the day at really good rates that got him to a position where he was owed 1.6 million and they paid it and they fucking paid it after the fact they've gone under they got absorbed by podcast one and they fucking paid it they paid it can you imagine how happy he must be <laughs> no wonder he's fucking smiling like that honestly that's fucking incredible 1.6 million dollars in this economy that we're in at the moment inflation sky high cost of living sky high unemployment rates sky high <laughs> podcasting networks flopping all over the place every podcast platform is struggling spotify are probably not going to re-sign fucking rogan rogan's the number one guy and they're probably not going to re-sign him and brendan got 1.6 million dollars just before christmas <laughs> <laughs> fucking props fucking props just before christmas you got 1.6 million dollars don't hate the play hate the game and i think the older you get the more you realize this is just a fact, right? Some people just have luck. Like I said, everything in my life has come hard. Like, you know, I do come hard too, but everything in my life has come hard. It really has. Nothing in my life has come easy. Even this fucking channel. You can go back to some previous live streams where I've had fucking 10 viewers. You could go back to some previous pods where I've had fucking one listener, right? Nothing in my life has ever come easy. But there's always fucking interesting, the opposite side of things where this guy's just, you know, he's done the bare minimum, He's had, you know, two of the best people ever in his career to kind of guide him through with Brian Cannon and Rogan. Because I think, you know, anybody that meets Rogan and becomes his friend, you're essentially guaranteed to make it. If you just make, keep making content, you keep putting yourself out there, it's nearly impossible to lose if you're Rogan's friend because he's a kingmaker. He meets Rogan just as he's having a, you know, personality and fucking career crisis. Rogan gives him a stamp of approval and then, pew, despite his lack of fucking you know talent in what he does he still fucking smashes it so imagine so fucking incredible but podcast one might be one of the most redacted companies in the world i think they've got a problem if you've got stocks in podcast one i'm praying for you because this company might also go under because look at how they got the money right so if you're not aware um, brenda was with cast media Cast Media gave Brendan crazy rates, which were probably over, you know, they probably overpaid because they wanted to sign. And now that we know Cast Media did that because they wanted to have a big repertoire of like roster, sorry, of high profile comedy podcast people who that they could then use to sell out, right? To kind of sell, right? To kind of uh, go to IPO. I think that was a that was a plan for a minute one. That Colin Thompson guy, I don't think was ever in it for the long run. I think he always wanted to get cut get cast media to a point where he could sell it and the best way to do it was to offer podcasters higher rates than they'll get anywhere else for the ads that they were getting on their pods i think even during the coffeezilla documentary he said that colin thompson was even offering guarantees like payout guarantee which is crazy no one does that so he was offering guarantee payments paying over the odds everyone signed up cool whatever brendan actually one of the smart things he did he saw it and he was like hold on you're paying me over the odds for the fire and the kid you're paying me however much it is. How about if I just set up 
five other podcasts and do the same thing and get different deals for each pod which is smart from him he didn't let them do one ad deal for all of his podcasts he did different ad he did the same ad deals for different pods so he just did command c command v copy paste copy paste and then over time when cast media stopped paying he accrued in arrears 1.6 million dollars in payments owed to him then obviously cast media is about to go down under whatever and in podcast one this other podcasting network decided to absorb cast media's um roster of people into their company they went with they went and did an ipo went public in order to kind of you know raise more money whatever it may be um and then in the for in that kind of you know whatever that may be they paid this guy out somehow it's fucking crazy but look at how they paid him out so if you if you've got stock in podcast one i think you should be very worried because the way they paid this guy out is very concerning so Here's how Podcast One afforded to pay him out. Podcast One and his parent company, Live One, were, however, willing to pay at least one podcaster what Cast owes hit them in full, even if it meant taking out a high interest loan. Records obtained by Billboard show that in early August, Live One borrowed $1.7 million from Cap Chase, an online bank based in Madrid. That money, Billboard confirmed, was borrowed to pay UFC fighter turned podcaster Brendan Schaub that was owed by Cast Media, the Los Angeles based podcast company launched in 2016 by founder and CEO Colin Thompson. So, this company, Podcast One, not only absorbed Cast Media and all their issues, they also went and got a high interest loan from an online bank in Madrid. I didn't know that fucking existed, right? I didn't really could even do that in business terms, you know, take your company that's American based and then get a loan from another place and then use that money to then pay Brendan. So if you've got stocks in Podcast One, it's squeaky bum time. They're taking out loans to pay people from previous companies. Oof. Oof, 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 oof. Very, very crazy. But again, big up Brendan for getting to the bag. And also, LOL at like this, by the way. They got one point. They paid Brendan 1.6 million, but they took out a loan of 1.7 million. Where did that 100,000 go? Do you think they gave Brendan the whole 1.7? Did the agent that got the loan pocket the, the, the 100,000? Very interesting, isn't it? Very interesting. 1.6, 1.7? You give him 1.6? Hmm. Where's 100,000 gone? We don't know. We don't know. But yeah, big up Brendan. He got to the bag. He got to the bag. Sometimes for some people, stuff is easy. Sometimes for other people, stuff is hard. It's the nature of the beast. It is.